welcome to episode two of 10 pounds to 2000 pound golf bag the series where i take a 10 pound job lot flip it multiple times until i finally get to that 2000 pound all out brand new golf bag which i'm going to give away to you guys let's recap so in the last episode we found a 10 pound job lot with a nice little great big bertha driver irons putter and bag i went through the process of listing it why split them why I did what i did and then hopefully we were going to get some action on the clubs and i've got the results today so let's see exactly how much money we made on top of that 10 pound job lot and then i'm going to show you exactly where we're going next to hopefully keep on increasing the budget so one of the biggest wins from that 10 pound job lot was a great big bertha 2 driver 10.5 degree reg reflex shaft and we put it on a three-day auction starting at 15 a pound so i knew that as long as i got one bid we've made some money towards the next lot as we did include also a six pound additional postage charges that's what it cost me at the moment or six pound ten but that's what it cost me to send a post or club i should say next day delivery we actually got 36 pounds and that's also with the six pound 20 on top therefore 42 pounds is what we sold that club for which is exceptional and a great double up triple up almost quadruple up from the original 10 pound price and that's not including the rest of the golf club but we were also trying to sell that job lot of irons and putters all together as well as the golf bag now i have listed the golf bag on facebook for a fiver sadly no one has picked that up yet but we're going to keep it there and hopefully over time as this challenge rolls on we will sell that the irons was a bit disappointing sadly as you can see here we didn't or weren't able to sell that job lot of irons but the pickup that i'm picking up today i'm hoping to add to that so that we can make a bigger job lot so that we can finally get rid of them for a bit of money so once all being said and done we've actually only managed to sell one of the golf clubs a great big bertha driver but thankfully it sold for so much we've now got a bit of a budget to play with 30 pounds in total and as i say the rest of the stuff i have got a plan for to sell in the future the clubs i'm going to pick up now i don't even need the full 30 pounds and actually I think I've got some hidden gems in here that it means that we could probably get into the triple figures which gives us a great budget to really get this series going. Guys you did incredibly well supporting the first episode so if you wouldn't mind getting this up to a thousand likes on episode two I'd really appreciate it. So I'm just about to go and go and meet Chris the gentleman that is selling these clubs and as I stated in the first episode the rule was I could not go over budget so I couldn't spend more than £30 which is a bit of a shame because all the clubs that I'm buying today is £45 total. That being said, there was four items listed separately. So I'm gonna take three of them, adding up to 15 pounds and arguably the most profitable out of the whole lot. And they are gonna make up my purchase day. The 15 pounds gets carried over to next episode. And hopefully with the stuff that I'm buying today, adding on to the job lot and the golf bag that I bought in the last episode, we are building somewhat of a total. Let me show you the listings or photos I screen grabbed earlier. Number one is this Titleist driver for £5.907, so obviously quite old, but decent shaft, decent grip, and I can't imagine it's going to go for any less than that great big Bertha did the other day. The next listing is this bag of golf clubs, bag included, again for £5, which is just such good value. And there's one club in there that caught my eye, which, well, hopefully if you're looking at the photo now, you'll know exactly the one I'm talking about. It's got a one on it. And it's got quite a famous manufacturer along the side. So I'm excited to see what the rest of the bag is, but purely just having that one club, again, we're looking at hopefully 30 to 40 pounds worth of value. And lastly, the third listing. This hopefully, and lastly, the third listing, five putters, one pound each. They look great from the top. I have no idea what they are, what brand. I've got a feeling maybe the one on the right is a ping. It looks like a ping, just in terms of like the hosel and the head. There's a two of them that just look like cheap putters, but even if we get one half decent one, that's a win. And then the rest can be added to the other putters that I got last week, which again, hopefully I'll be able to separate and put in a different job lot. And those golf clubs, along with that one special club that I showed you in the second listing, hopefully they can group together and we can get that ball rolling. 10 pounds, 15 pounds, whatever it might be. So here's the listing that wasn't able to be included in today's challenge. Now, obviously, if I had a budget of £45 to play with, i.e. if we had sold that job lot of irons, this would have been included. But to be honest, even though £35 for this bag and all the clubs in it is a good deal, it's not as profitable as the clubs I'm about to show you. 
R7 tailor-made quad driver. Again, I imagine I'm hopefully gonna get 35 to 40 pounds in the condition that it's in. Shafts in decent condition, grips in good, decent condition. Sadly, hasn't got a head cover, but again, if that great big Bertha can go for 30 pounds, I imagine that will as well. We have an MX700 Mizuno wood to also go with the bag. Again, grip in really good condition, shaft in really good condition, head cover, again, 20, 30 pounds, I imagine, that we'd probably be able to get for that. Now, sadly, the irons aren't as in good condition as I thought they were. A lot of them have got shaft tape down the side of them, mainly to stop bag wear marks, but it doesn't look like that they were that effective. And also, what I didn't realize is the set was missing a six iron. So for something that could have been a 40 quid, 50 quid set, sadly, it's probably gonna be worth, well, not much. And then the bag, I imagine I'll get a fiver. So it's not necessarily a dud of a deal, but it's just as well that it's not included in today's challenge because let's be honest, we're not gonna fetch much from it. Right, let's get back to Sanford and show you exactly what we got in our deal. So everything that you see in front of you costs a grand total of 15 pounds. So half of our budget that we've been playing with and hopefully you're starting to see how this can grow quite quickly and you can start building your own bag. We've had some absolute winners throughout this entire lot and as i say for 15 pounds can't really go wrong firstly i'll show you some ebay prices of recently sold i'm just going to do some guesswork but obviously i'll show you once i go into editing 907 d1 driver now sadly someone has painted the lettering in pink now that's not necessarily my color i'm sure it might be some people's but that's just going to limit a few people that'd be interested but at the same time it's still a 907 driver with a regular flex shaft in decent condition i.e there's no bag wear marks roof of the driver has seen better days but again the big bertha that we just recently sold for 36 pounds including postage is inferior compared to this i would say we then move on to the putters now remember these all cost a pound each and there are some that don't get me wrong probably will be worth a pound but some of them look fantastic now i'm gonna have to do some research because to be honest i'm not too sure on some of these brands and makes but in terms of the quality of them in terms of face head i mean the grip as well they seem decent they seem like someone should be paying 15 to 20 pounds for this this just looks this is the one that i thought was a ping putter from the top here and as you see that obviously it isn't but from the general look and bottom and grind on face and hosel and the way it sits on the ground well it's definitely worth more than a pound so that in my eyes is definitely a win it's just a question of what is it and who wants to buy it sadly one of the putters has got this split down the uh, bottom of it however it did look like one of the cheaper versions of the putters so we weren't too sad about that again another one of the putters these are the ones these three here that i'm showing you now are the ones that got add to those putter job lot that i got in episode one so we've now got five putters for that job lot which again i'm hoping that there's a pro that just needs a few putters maybe for beginner lessons maybe a pitch and putt that will take five putters for 15 pounds including postage so uh, that job loss is going to keep on growing until i finally get rid of it and it's not sitting in the lockup lastly one of and i'll show you some more gems in a minute lovely little golf pride grip oh it's got a bit of a hole in it great feeling golf pride grip on the top here tailor-made tpa obviously before my time as i haven't seen this brand before but as soon as you see hang on that's not actually on the putter but when you actually see a tailor-made on a putter that is always a good sign i can tell it's quite an old putter because it's got the old logo but overall this thing sits great feels great in the hands as well so we've got a nice little tailor-made putter and also this one over here which for me for the both of them i think is worth 40 pounds easily maybe more again i need to do some research so 40 pounds i'm going to say is a very safe bet for these two 40 pounds for the driver so we're at 80 at the moment and we haven't even got into the bag this is the one that obviously i saw five pounds for the entire lot is amazing i'm hoping i'm going to be able to get rid of the bag for maybe a fiver on facebook someone that just wants a decent um, pencil bag it is a bit tatty it is a bit worn but again a fiver needs must haven't actually oh it's got a fantastic grip on it as well oh yes it's got a lovely lambkin grip corded actually pretty good virtually new label on the ping shaft again in great condition ping zing i'm getting mud everywhere ping zing one on 
I believe mm, it's got a bit of lead at the bottom, which isn't the best, but that's not going to put off most. One iron, ping zing, blue dot, very popular, going to easily fetch me 30 to 40 pounds, which I know a lot of you are thinking, why? It's a one iron for a start, it's ping for another, it's rare, realistically, in this kind of condition. Therefore, at the moment, I could easily get 30 to 40 but that's why you watch this channel as most people give these kind of clubs away for a fiver and you know that you can get quite a decent return on or even better put them in the bag yourself now the rest of the bag is pretty much odds and sods there's not really much going on in the rest of the bag apart from one club which i'm very excited to show you in a minute but these clubs here are going to add to the job lot of iron so hopefully at a tenner and we're adding another one two three four five six seven eight more clubs into the total again they're not the best looking clubs and you're not going to get much for them but if i can just shift that job lot for a tenner or 15 pounds again it adds to the total that we already have and as i say we're hoping to get to that 100 pound mark this was included in the bag and it was in the photo i'll show you the photo now on the side view you couldn't actually see it because it was tucked in behind the rest of the golf clubs right here i have a ping zing putter again ping and putters are very valuable at the moment when i say valuable you're going to get again another 20 30 maybe 35 pounds you can clean these up you can polish them they come out very nice and beautiful i'm personally just going to leave it exactly the way it is but that but that ladies and gentlemen is an absolute win as something that was just in the bottom of the bag again shafts in decent condition i.e there's not got much rust and grip traditional not as good as the other grips that we've seen before but you cannot complain and these are the kind of job lots that excite me and i'm glad this is now the community golf bag and we've definitely got a bit of a jump start so there is episode two that is exactly where we are. As I say, this doesn't take long to build your bags. You just have to have the knowledge and the equipment and know how, how to sell and buy these golf clubs. And with these videos, hopefully you're starting to learn my process and method of actually doing it. We started with 10 pounds. We've even got 15 pounds already locked up in profit. This set here is essentially free. And with a bit of luck, three days, I'm going to auction them off tonight. Hopefully we get some bids towards the weekend. Yeah, I aim for, what's it, Wednesday? So I aim for Friday, Saturday night, finish, and hopefully we're gonna get a bit of money back, i.e. the triple figures, to see what we can then get. And when I've got 100 pounds to spend with, opposed to 15, that's when it gets exciting. Guys, as I said, if you wouldn't mind giving this video a thousand likes, that'd be really appreciative. Please share it, comment, subscribe if you haven't already done so. Guys, thank you ever so much for watching. Catch you guys later. Morning, Tom. Hope you're doing well. Good afternoon, mate. Well done on the lesson. And evening, Alan. Not a problem at all. And testing the G30s. Good afternoon, gents. On my way to the lock up. Go, go pick up the mirror, aren't